Hi everyone, welcome back to Chad Gray Outdoors. We are back on the North Country Trail again. We just got dropped off on Gibbs Hill or Bliss Hill Road or something like that. Um, and we are going from here down to the end of Longhouse Drive uh, on 321, which is about two and a half miles. It's just a short walk, so we're not going real far today. It's kind of like a last minute decide to do thing. Uh, it's the middle of November right now, and it is 43 degrees, so it's a little chilly. So hopefully it doesn't freeze us out. I did bring gloves, so that's about it. Here's coming down from Route 6 on the Bliss Road. They did put, I think, a crosswalk thing in here, which I haven't seen before. But we are heading this way and heading down. Into the valley and I think we go back up I know at the very end of the trail it is a steep downhill I've hiked this once before basically from route 6 all the way to 321 over and back uh, that was like a total of 14 miles altogether so it's been a few years since I've been here so it's kind of all new to me again let's go let's hit the road Now that all the leaves have fallen, the trail's pretty hard to decipher. So we'll just have to keep paying attention to all the blue markers. Apparently there is some camping up here. There's a camp, a little tent mark. It's marked with white blazes that head down that direction. We're not going to walk down there. We're going to keep going on the trail. It is a little chilly today, but the sun's out. The last couple times we've came out, it's been raining, so Haley's excited about that. We actually got sunlight rather than pouring down rain. We got almost to the top of the hill. Top of the hill's over here. Here's a sign. We head this way. And according to the map, I think we stay on top of this for a while and then we will drop straight down. If I can remember right, it's like an 800 foot elevation drop over a quarter of a mile I could be wrong it's been a while since I've read up on this section but it's definitely a decent downhill that's why we started where we did and our ending where we did so we didn't have to climb up it pretty rocky slippery through here I believe we are officially at the tippy top. Uh, just as a warning for those of you that do hike this area or will hike it, there is a property line that comes right through here. I don't see the markers right now, but they're also marked in blue. And if you happen to be coming through here at night, like right now it's easy to tell because it's daylight, but if you happen to be coming through here at night you see the blue markers make sure that you're following the correct markers uh, the ones that are shaped more like a rectangle like this not just blue spray paint so if you do see something that's just in a 
blob, more than likely you're not on the trail. kind of a neat area back there um, that is the Kinzu Reservoir that you just saw when this weighs down there um, a lot of the section from New York State down through the Allegheny National Forest the top part goes along that reservoir so if you ever come up this way or never hiked in, uh, on the North Country Trail in Pennsylvania. If you start at the New York State border and head south, you'll follow that reservoir for quite a while. Now we are slowly descending downhill. And I believe it should be downhill the majority of the way. See if we get an injury. Oh, I think it's too slippery. Oh no, you can keep going. Here you go. Coming down is going to be harder. If you fall, roll gracefully. Yeah. Up oh, here it goes. Come on. <laughs> Don't break anything. I can't do this. All right, yeah. come down. There's like nowhere to grip. All right, well, there's a dead log down at the bottom, so don't fall into that. Good job. Thanks. You coming? Yeah. Recording? I will once you get down. Well, we've definitely been walking downhill. It's hard to see through here, but the reservoir is out here. We're getting a lot closer. Probably 15 minutes or so, I think we'll be all done. Unless we keep stopping, like we have been. Right? Yep. Oh, well, we finally got the sun again, too. So the sun's hiding now back over the hill, so we lost it for a little bit, but we're up here. Well, we're walking parallel now to Longhouse Drive, straight through the woods right over there. It looks like, too, through this section here, now that we're almost to the bottom, must have been a windstorm really bad at one point because it's definitely a lot of blow over. I don't know what the kid's doing. Oh. Yeah, you can see a lot of down trees. I'm sure this was a mess at one point to try to clean up. I know it's pretty bad, isn't it? Yeah. It's almost like we're gonna walk through a tunnel of downed trees.
kudos to the North Country Trail Association volunteers to clean this all up after this happens because I know it is a lot of work. We've made it to the bottom. Right here there is a sign in, sign out sheet. Uh, if we were coming from this direction, we would have signed it just to prove that we were here, just in case we were to get lost. And also right here, there's a plaque from 1974. If we keep going north, um, <clears throat> we will eventually cross near Sugar Bay. So this section here that they're talking about goes up to Sugar Bay and then up to Willow Bay. And the road is right up here. Once we get to the road, the trail will follow 321 north and it will cross Red Bridge it's called and then the trail will go off the road into the right hand side and keep continuing north all the way to Chapel Bay which I have a video for that so if you'd like to see the section basically from 59 down to 321 which is to Chapel Bay then you can see that section well we made it to the end um, I hope you enjoyed this video and those of you that keep continuing to watch my videos thank you um, for you new subscribers or new watchers thanks for watching I hope you enjoy uh, old videos and the new videos to come hey thanks for watching bye <laughs>